Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Now I want to read the book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. So in this clip, they are showing you the design of the world's first space hotel, and this is planned for 2027, including with the, which what will be in this space hotel is bars, restaurants, and a gym will feature alongside hotel rooms. The, ind the independent employs over 100 journalists around the world to bring you news you can trust. All right, that's just talking about this site or article. It says, for the traveler who really and truly wants to get away from it all, a new kind of hotel could just offer the perfect solution. The world's very first space hotel is slated to open in 2027, named the Voyager Class Space Station. The hotel will be able to hold up to 400 guests, but those guests won't be slumming it alongside bedrooms. There will be bars, restaurants, and, and, a, and even a gym according to the plans for the ambitious project. The Orbital Assembly Corporation, the OAC, is the company behind the idea and has announced that the construction of the Voyager class will begin in 2025. The station will be designed from the start to accommodate both national space agencies conducting low gravity research and space tours who want to experience life on a large space station with the comfort of low gravity and the feel of a nice hotel. According to, according to the OAC, OAC website, the general structure of the space station will be two concentric rings with the inner one, a dedicated clock, a docking hub, and the outer ring, the backbone of the station, providing the mounting of habitable modules, solar panels, radiators, and a rail transport system. Pods attached to the outer ring will serve different functions. Some could be sold to NASA for research and training purposes, while others will provide accommodation for tourists or be used for the other on-site hotel amenities. The rotating space station will be will, will also be designed to produce varying levels of artificial gravity by increasing or decreasing the rate of rotation. For less adventurous tourists still keen to sample a taste of the future, MSC Cruises announced that it is a its new flagship vessel launching later this year will feature a humanoid robot bartender. <laughs> okay. Um Oh, that's crazy. You know, more things that they're doing. It says, named rather appropriately Rob, the barman will be part of the crew on board the M M MSC Virtuosa. Rob will be ensconed. Ins 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 Damn, pronounce that way off. <laughs> it says, behind the ship's futuristic bar on hand to mix and serve its signature cocktails, alcoholic and non alcoholic. And a countless personalized drinks, just like a human bartender would do. 
while it's engaging the guests with its voice, human-like expressions for a fully immersive bar experience according to the cruise line. All right. So that's the point dealing with that. Um, so that's dealing with the hotel. But yeah, you see, you see what E is trying to do, you know, um, and it's funny because if anybody ever watched the series, the 100, right? Well, what, what took place on the 100? The 100, it started off with um, them living in what? In a space, basically a space station, but a, a space ring. Let's pull it up. 100 series, uh, the space ring. That's where they were living in, right? Uh, here it go. This is the image of it right here. Yeah, it was called the Ark, right? And you see all these people was living in these different areas of the Ark. And they had what? They had, uh, you know, a uh, place to eat. And uh, they had all the accessories you can think of, you know, um, to sustain themselves, to actually live in space. Now, what happened was what? Uh, uh, nuclear missiles uh, hit the the uh, place that they was living at, so they had to go up into space to live. But they sent a, uh, the hundred kids down there to see if they can, if life was still uh, habitable on Earth. All right, now this is we know through the spirit. This is why E is doing things like this because E is trying to escape his judgment. That's the point that we getting. All right, E is trying to outrun. Outlive, he's trying to escape his judgment. You see? But there is no escaping your judgment, E. Let's go to the book of um. So that's why I read this. Let's read it again. The book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. So even though they mention it as, you know, uh, you know, for Nasa to be up there doing their little business and also be an opening for uh, a guest tourist to the you know, feel at peace to get away from everything in a hotel. No, see, E is, has a plan to try to live in space. Because why is he he's trying to escape his judgment of the destruction of America, Babylon the Great, what's coming to the earth? All right? Let's go to the book of Obadiah. This thing will be long. Let's go to the book of Obadiah. Matter of fact, matter of fact, let's get this one real fast. So what the scriptures say, let's go to the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 2. It says, though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, thence I will bring them down. So wherever you try to go hide, you will be found. Okay? You're going to try to hide in your your, uh, your dumps, which is your deep underground military bases or um, bunkers. Right? Well, you're going to get dug up. You're going to go try to hide up in the heavens, in space and things like that, right? Well, you're going to get brought down. See, there is no escaping your judgment, E. There is no escaping. And ultimately, what? They, they think their houses is going to continue forever. You see how it's already 2021. And as bad, bad as it is, they already talking about, you know, uh, um, 2027, you know, like as if. They just know for sure that we're still going to be here on the planet Earth. Right? Lord willing, hopefully the destruction comes before that. So let's go to the book of Obadiah 1 verse 3. It says, that The pride of thine heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence... I will bring thee down, saith the Lord. And let's start out. Let's go to verse one. Okay, because this is who this is talking about. Talking to the vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord and an ambassador sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. So this is talking about Esau, Edom. All right. And even though he's going to try to hide himself among the stars, he is going to be brought down. There is no escaping your judgment, E. All right. All these different, um, you know, things you're, you're trying to come up with to escape. Well, it's not going to work. 
All right? Shalom.